The meeting of the Mother's Day Committee will please come to order. But where's Bruce looking? There are 20 chairs. Linda said she would be late, and I don't know if Kiki is coming or not. Say, Kiki, did you ask her? Of course they asked her. Mrs. Dog wants her to take part in everything. We do, so she will feel at home. She won't be inside the door before she starts songs about Mother's Day and why. You can count me out. I ought to be playing baseball anyhow. Come on, Jerry. You ought to be ashamed. Kiki is a nice girl. But she's always telling us how much better everything is in Hawaii. The climate's better in Hawaii. The flowers are bigger. Even the pineapples are sweeter. But that's because Hawaii's our yeah. home. You acted the same way when you moved from Georgia. That was different. Georgia is part of the United States. So is Hawaii. Don't you remember why is our 50th state? But it's so far and everything is so different there. Anyway, Georgia was one of the 13 original colonies. Hello, everybody. I hope I didn't miss anything. We were just talking about Kahiki. Kahiki? Is she coming too? I guess I'm tired of hearing about Hawaii. But I like her anyways. Some of her stories are very interesting. So does Stranger Romantic, like her name. Kahiki, that's some name. You guys should stop teasing her about it. If we keep this up, we won't get our plans made for the Mother's Day party. That's right. I think we should do something new and special. Like what? I can't really think of anything. We had a picnic last year, and a regular party of our mothers would have to deal with the work. Aloha. Aloha, Kahiki. Hello. Hello, Kaden. Don't call me Kaden. My name is Kahiki. Don't mind him, Kahiki. Sit down and, and help us plan our Mother's Day party. We need some new ideas. I knew it. I knew it. What does he mean? How could he know it when I just told him? He knew you. He said, say something about what you did in Hawaii. And is that so bad? Of course not. Everybody likes to talk about home. This is your home now. But you don't make me feel at home. You treat me like a stranger. You won't even say my name. It's too hard. It is not too hard. Kahiki, Kahiki, Kahiki. Okay. <laughs> I'll call you Kahiki if you stop talking about Hawaii all the time. But Hawaii is the most beautiful place in the world. Why shouldn't Kahiki talk about Hawaii? You certainly heard enough about Georgia when you first came. Yeah, and I remember you guys talking and calling me George. But isn't that his name? No, his real name is Dean. But we started calling him George George, and the name stuck. Now he likes it. I really <coughs> like Hayden. Why didn't you make them stop? Oh, I don't know. I guess I got used to it besides. It sounded better after we became friends. When did you become friends? Oh, I guess after I stopped boasting about Georgia. And after we found out we come to learn a lot from old George. I remember when the science fair prize for George Cotton Project. <laughs> and he helped me with a report on peanuts. Even taught me how to throw a baseball with a real Georgia twist. I bet if we give Kiki a chance, she might show us how to give our Mother's Day party a name twist. I did have an idea, but I'm afraid you wouldn't want to hear because it's something about what we did in Hawaii. Sure we would. Why not? What is it? Tell us. No, I mean Ele Day. Ele is a wreath of flowers. Look, I've made one to show you. Oh, isn't it pretty? What do you do with it? You put it around your neck of someone you love. In Hawaii, it's a sign of friendship. We can make them for our mothers. But first, we could do a little program with some songs and dances. Would you like to do some, some Hawaiian dances? I'd love to. Can anyone or class play you from Lola? It's easy. I brought mine along. I'll show you some chords. The 
Japanese giant says Okasa. The Russian child says Mac. The Italian child says Mamma Mia. <laughs> The Indian child says, Matta. The Romanians say, Mama. The Korean child says, Omani. The word is mirror. The Spanish child says Matre. The Canadian child says Mom.
I nodded. The tiny blue forget-me-nots is just the sweetest ever, and it belongs to Mother, and we forget her never. <laughs> Don't, if you argue with me, you're going to be on dark. <laughs> <laughs> to read it a couple years ago and I couldn't and so I had two years ago Mrs. Krause read it who was my principal oh Jane I can do it no problem she got halfway through <laughs> tears were on so but Mrs. Aggie says she can do it and she is going to be our guest but what's really sad I don't even have any Kleenex I, she didn't have any Kleenex in her room the other day either. I'll just use my sleeve. No, you won't. But the pictures are absolutely phenomenal. And my boys and girls sing when she does I'll Love You Forever. They know how to sing all those words by heart. And um, you haven't heard it? Okay, well you're in for a treat. Because my boys and girls found things in the pictures that I didn't even notice all these years. Like the comforter on the baby's bed. I did notice that the baby had diapers and pacifiers and stuff. And as the baby grows and grows, you know, then goes into computers and different things. It is the circle of life. So, how many of you have never heard the story? One, two, three, four, five. Six. You haven't either? Seven? Good, okay. I bet a lot more. Okay. Okay. Alright, so it's Love You Forever by Robert Hutch. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth. And back and forth and back and forth. And while she held him, she sang. I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby will be. The baby grew, he grew and he grew and he grew. 
He grew until he was two years old and he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator, and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. And sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Has that happened? Mm -hmm. yeah. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The little boy grew, he grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old, and he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. <laughs> Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. <laughs> that has never happened. Nope. But at night time, when he was asleep, oh, yes. the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If he was really asleep, she'd pick up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. <laughs> the boy grew, he grew and he grew and he grew, he grew he was a teenager. He had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes the mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at night time when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of the bed if he was really asleep. She'd pick up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. That teenager grew, he grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful about that. Right. Opened the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day she called up her son and said, you better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and too sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth and back and forth. And he sang, I love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my mommy will be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very, very slowly rocked her back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Amen.
Absolutely excellent. Please feel free. I will put the 